Here at Gundam Planet, we're all about confronting our inner demons, which is why I'm confronting this demon right here, right now. The Gundam Astaroth origin form. Now, if you remember my review of the original Astaroth, I like that kid a lot. I enjoyed the construction. I like it was the first IBO high grade I built, so I was super impressed by the inner frame. So I was really looking forward to this as soon as they announced it. it like. I think it looks really cool. Kind of it's trying too hard, but it's kind of its charm. So, let's take a look to see what they get you in this demon kit. Also, I still don't like this man. I still haven't learned his name, so I'm just kind of... Yeah, okay. It's, they didn't give you a whole lot of runners in here, so I guess they're making the best amount from their space. Uh, little instruction manual. Um, start us off, the red in this kit, fantastic looking. Like, just feeling the plastic, it continues the tradition of the IVO high grade, it's just astounding production value. It's just, whew, can't wait. Uh, let's see, this looks like all of the inner frame on this one runner, which always impressive that they're like economy of space. Um, if it's anything like the Astaroth's uh, inner frame, I'm probably going to be very impressed. The only issue I had with that kit was it was a little bit loosey-goosey up in the uh, like upper arms chest so if that if this kit fixes that like this might be a perfect high grade I don't know let's see little polycaps the polycaps uh, again the same shade of red this seems like it's going to be like shoulder armor kind of kneecaps feet yeah I can definitely see feet on there you got feet um, you have one separate runner for the two like wings on the pauldron the pauldrons it's got it kind of makes it look like uh, Eva unit one a little bit with the, the sticking straight up but I guess it can fly too is neat let's see oh this is the runner that has its weird like club axe sword gun on it which is a very fun combination of words it seems like you get the gun the club and uh, I guess the sword yeah swords on one of the red frames um, and you combine them all together into like one weapon. I like it less as a concept than the original Astaroth's um, like clicky chainsaw like sword, but I'll probably learn to love this as well. And you get a second shade of red on here. Like I love this like crimson maroon like dark red here. Like very good contrast with the regular red and like this part separation here is insane. Like, these tiny white parts for the mask, like, going back even probably like two years, you'd never see this. These would be stickers, and I would be very unhappy. Speaking of which, this being a high grade, it does have some stickers, but they seem pretty manageable. Like, I might not use these emblems here just because I don't like using stickers that just, like, are on a flat surface, and they're just there, and you gotta look at them. I'm fine with stickers when they're like in a recessed thing, like, or they're a fancy design and you just plop them in there, like, the, the edges won't get caught on anything, but I have no idea how these stickers go on this kit, so I'm gonna find out. Eh, might be good, might be bad. We'll see. And that's it. Like, he looks like a beefy boy, but there's not a whole lot to him, so this is gonna be a pretty quick build, so we'll see how I like it. I'm hopeful. And we're back with this devil man, the Gundam Astaroth origin form. Now, if you remember, I reviewed the original Astaroth. I love that kit. I thought the articulation, the colors, everything were great. So when I saw that we were getting another version of it, I was very excited. And after building it, like, it was well-placed excitement. Like, because if you've built any of the IBO high grades, like, the frame is the same, it's perfect, it works well, it just, it's super sturdy, like my only complaint with the original Astaroth was that it was, was kind of loosey-goosey in like the upper body. This guy doesn't move an inch, it's perfect. Like the gimmicks are well implemented, they're not any kind, they're not like useless or unnecessary, everything is built towards like a very solid model. And if you want to add something to your IBO lineup, like, just look at him. Look how edgy he looks. <laughs> look at how much he wants you to think he's cool. And for me, it kind of circles back around from being, like, kind of stupid looking to, like, oh, yeah, yeah, 
kind of looks pretty tough. Let's bring the camera in for a closer look at this tough boy. So you may notice that this guy's got some shoulder action going on, and boy does he ever. Because what these are, you can fold these over his top of the shoulder, flip him out, he's got wings. He's basically the space shuttle, if the space shuttle like went to Hot Topic. So you fold out the wings, and for some reason he's got like the back of a plane on him, so now he's just like going around like that. It, on an action base too, like posing him in the air, it's probably going to look super dope. Um, but also, he comes with this kind of like three in one. I'm just going to pop these off right now. This three in one sword club gun combo. Like, for the original Astaroth, the sword was one of the big reasons why I liked it because it was super well articulated. It clicked out, it clicked in. Uh, this, not so much because it's kind of just like three separate weapons in one. You have this gun here, that it's a gun, but take a look at this sword. This is a cool sword. And how that works, he's actually got a support arm under his thing. So you just pop off the hand cover, like that. Boop. Pop it in. And then you put the hand cover back on and it's just locked in place like that. It's see? You can do whatever with that sword and you don't have to worry about it coming off. And on the box art, they kind of show him able to like hold the whole club thing. So I'm gonna try that. It's kinda like because you just slide it back over. And when you look at that, a little high grade like that, holding a big weapon. That, this is a smart implementation of this mechanic, like, you can do kind of anything with it, like, and because it's the, the IBO Gundam frame, you can get, like, you can get down, like that, and still, like, look at, it's the articulation, particularly on the Astaroths, for me, like, blown away by it, and these gimmicks, like, I'm not really too sure why it has wings like this, but... They work, and it looks cool. So, in summary, if you like the original Astaroth high grade, you're going to love this guy. Like, it, everything that made the Astaroth uh, an enjoyable build for me, like their articulation, the part separation, has been transferred down to this as well, and in, like, way more striking colors. Like, the, the red and the dark red and the contrasting of the white in the face, like, such a cool looking slick design I'm I'm unhappy it took this long for this to come out um, if you like the original Astaroth if you like red suits this is definitely something I would pick up Got no demons gonna get wood. this video drop us a like below if you want to see more boys reviewing robots check us out in the sidebar got plenty more of those if you agreed with what I said or disagree or just want to yell at me drop us a comment below I'm sure that's gonna be fun and again thanks to Marshtown for our lovely music as always we'll see you next time